Work continues on the section of the railroad bridge that collapsed exactly three weeks ago in downtown Syracuse. I talked with the associate dean of SU's College of Engineering and a structural engineer himself who says this bridge failure should be a real wake-up call for all of us. This edge element not necessarily was carrying much actually of the uh, railway okay. weight. Okay. So this is, it is not as critical. However, uh, its collapse is disastrous, it's very dangerous. Without warning, on a Thursday afternoon three weeks ago, some mammoth sections of concrete broke free from a downtown Syracuse railroad bridge and came crashing to the ground. Luckily, no one was hurt. New York Susquehanna and Western, which owns the rail line, has only provided city officials with a summary report of recent inspections on all the elevated lines it owns in Syracuse, despite calls from City Hall for thorough reports. The information provided shows many fair to good condition assessments, but Abu Taha says that may not tell the whole story. We may have a bridge that's slightly deteriorated, but it is deteriorated at critical connections. In response to the collapse, the railroad has agreed to remove 17 other decorative pieces of concrete like the ones that crumbled. Abu Taha, a structural engineer who also uses this lab on the SU Hill to teach courses in rehabbing civil infrastructure like bridges, says taking down those similar pieces is a start, but he has a larger vision. Proper assessment, evaluation by structural engineers, good investment, and good plan to repair these bridges. He says strategic repairs at specific locations would work in the short term. That's a limited investment, but it, is, it helps a lot to, see, to improve the safety of the bridges. Now, NYS and W resumed service on the line on Monday after CNS engineers said there were no immediate structural concerns or imminent public safety issues from reopening the system.